Have you reached your decision, Cortez? Yes. A ceasefire. A joint operation to neutralize the genie you people let out of the bottle. May God have mercy on us all. Do you listen to me, Slavic? They used to call you the Serbian wolf, right? Fight me and I'll put you down like I would any wild dog. This is a joint command, little nod, soldier boy. Brought on by your incompetence. Remember that. You'll find I need to bite only once. And I always aim for the throat. I would have never approached you, Cortez, if the situation wasn't so desperate. When Cabal has been dealt with, there will be reckoning for Cortez. He has made an enemy today. Cabal's core component has been located through the use of both NOD and GDI data. It is too well defended for a direct assault, so we have to attack its support facility first. GDI is handling the cyborg production station. We will deal with Cabal's Tiberian harvesting station. Eva? Cabal's primary harvesting facility must be destroyed. A NOD civilian town in this sector is also at risk. Cabal is likely to target the town for cyborg recruitment. Destroy the facility and defend the civilians. I want a hard target, sweet commander. Wipe Cabal's forces from the face of the earth. Let's get those harvesters. On my way. Unit ready. Alright, so here we're introduced to a new unit. It is a mobile war factory. It is called the Fist of Nod. And basically, a this mobile war factory would imply it uh, it is a structure that when deployed allows you to create vehicles out of it and it's a vehicle itself until it's deployed so you can just send it out on your enemy's front door or wherever you want and make vehicles out of it pretty useful uh, because there's harvesters everywhere I'm actually gonna make a couple of limpid drones and hope that I attach to one of them like maybe that guy uh, and then I'm going to make a couple artillery, but I'm also going to make a, actually I'm going to make a tick tank first for some scouting. And then maybe a devil's tongue. And then a bunch of artillery. So our objectives. Use a new fist of non-mobile production facility to build up an effective strike force. Alright, so our first objective is save the civilians and their town from Cabal Siege. And the second objective is disrupt and prevent Cabal's Tiberium harvesting by destroying his uh, his harvesters and his silos and his refineries. Alright, that one has failed to attach to anything yet. Let's hope for better luck. Now, I kind of remember this mission. Uh, just the whole premise of it is kind of memorable, where you don't have a base, but you just have this war factory you have no means of getting funds but there's actually going to be uh crates money crates scattered all over the map and i'm sending this uh this tick tank to get what i think is going to be a good source of money crates up here these drones are just not attaching to anything so maybe i put them in a bad location All right, and obviously I'm going to be, whoa, careful buddy, don't go across that. I'm gonna be deploying these artillery. Nah, curses, go over here. So that they can shell the, uh, so that they can shell the, the harvesters. All right, let's keep scouting with that guy. And the nice thing about a bunch of artillery here is the fact that they're going to be able to shell harvesters in a very wide radius around our factory, ones that we can't even see. I think we finally attached to something. I thought I heard the sound. So I think one of our limpid drones was finally able to attach to a harvester. Let's try attaching to this one. We'll just drive right up next to it and deploy. We're going to be real aggressive. Okay, somehow that didn't work out. But our artillery are going to be 
All right, I think I think I heard the sound of that limpet drone finally attaching to a harvester. I don't know where the first harvester is we attached to. I'd have sworn I heard the sound. Am I not even getting vision? Okay, it's this one that I attached to. All right. Funnily enough, Cabal's not going to retaliate for this. Not that I remember, anyways. Okay, so there's this secret island in the northwest, and I think I just revealed this teeny tiny little shred of land, which should actually be enough for my flame tank, which I thought I put on control group two, to drive up to it and surface. And there should be a whole bunch of money crates on there. Okay, I do have vision through that guy. Good, good. I was starting to be afraid that my limpid drones had accomplished nothing, and I was going to be upset. Oh, well, sounds like we got the sound bug again. So let's uh, let's play some some music. Yeah, this will work, I guess. So yeah, this is kind of fun, just setting up this uh, giant artillery force here in the center of the map and. Enjoy the fireworks as they shell harvesters all around us. <laughs> the harvesters really get bucked when they uh, get hit by a bunch of artillery fire. But yeah, really interesting idea how we essentially just have a war factory. We have no means of production, but there's these money crates scattered all over the map. So once again, it's a mission that really rewards the player for exploring. Being curious and looking around. All right, now I think we're gonna want a whole bunch of, well, I might as well get one mobile repair vehicle. And then I think we're gonna want a whole bunch of tick tanks, a whole lot of them. There we go. So yeah, this is, in my opinion, one of the more memorable missions on the Nod side, aside from some of the early missions, which are honestly some of the most memorable. It's just so different from anything else that you see in the OG campaign or any of the other Firestore missions either. It's very unique. Or I guess I should say very unusual. Unique really being a binary property. Something's either unique or it isn't. So degrees of uniqueness doesn't actually make much sense. Alright. Let us continue exploring and finding more money crates. I think there should be some more buried in one of these crevices. Yep, I'm working on it, Eva. It takes a while. My artillery are doing some good damage. But it is a slow process. Sounds like a floater is attacking something somewhere. I can faintly hear the electric sound of the floater. Aha! There's a crate in this crevice here. Two of them. Excellent. Oh! There's the town that Cabal is attacking. And for once, not. And Nod actually cares about their civilians for once. So let's go to their aid. Actually, yeah, you, you go ahead and path your way over there. I'll trust you, as unwise as that might be. All right, more money. Yeah, let's save as much of this town as we can. I'm going to gather everybody here, attacking with a single, um, a single tick tank seems unwise. Okay, get in there. Help the civilians. There's that floater again. Get them, boys! Okay, and there's a whole bunch more of them. Retreat. Luckily, they seem generally more interested in destroying the town than us. They're not even retaliating. 
Well, that's going to make it easy to clear them out. Okay, there's that group destroyed. Oh boy, Reapers, that's a little scary. Let's send in some reinforcements. Meanwhile, the artillery are continuing to shell the harvesters relentlessly. A lot of solar panels. I guess that's a major energy source in this dystopian future of Tiberian Sun. Considering that the atmosphere seems really thick and cloudy most of the time due to the Tiberium terraforming, I'm kind of surprised the solar panels even work particularly well in this environment. I guess it must be pretty sunny sometimes. One can easily imagine that the energy situation is bad enough that you kind of got to take what you can get, so... Might just might just be a case where solar panels are better than nothing, basically. Get wrecked. Got a lot of veteran reinforcements on route. Nice. Got a lot of veteran tick tanks from that little skirmish. I think they're the uh, the Reaper deaths are actually bugged, and that. They emit way more Tiberium than they're supposed to because effectively while you're killing them, every hit on them until they die while they're in their death animation counts as another death, which causes them to emit far more Tiberium than they should and also can result in a lot of level ups on your units because they're effectively getting credit for multiple kills on a single Reaper. I think that's what's happening. Unit lost. Oh. Okay, I think... I think the unit loss I was hearing were actually trucks that got dropped off to give me more money crates. Seems like what was going on. Alright, let's see if there's more supply trucks here with, uh, with more money crates for us. I actually had to force fire on those. They didn't count as allies, but... We still have over 20,000 credits, so all the money crates we've been getting have been more than making up for all the money we've been spending on these tick tanks, which is excellent. Maybe I'll get a few more artillery as well. All right, let's scour the map for some more money crates while we're at it. All right, we successfully saved the town. The cyborgs inflicted some damage, but we certainly wiped them out before they were anywhere near done destroying the entire village or anything. So well done to us, a surprisingly heroic action by the Nod forces. Oh, is Cabal finally retaliating in a very minor way? One little attack buggy is not going to be able to handle this force. Neither is that one. This is a wholly inadequate response to the threat you face, Cabal. Man, that is a lot of destruction. Let's go ahead and deploy some of these guys. There we go, excellent. Let's move our staging area over there a bit. Whoa! Careful you don't destroy our own stealth tank, guys! Oh, I hear... there it is, a Tiberium Fiend. It got one of my tick tanks because I took my eyes off my guys. All right, there's another of Cabal's harvesters. Okay, and the limpid drone that I attached to one of those harvesters did reveal one of Cabal's mining bases, so at least they had some use. They weren't utterly worthless. Oh, I got a bunch of engineers. Okay, didn't even notice that until just now. It's one of the few cases where you really can make use of limpid drones outside of that one Nod mission where it's very much designed specifically for them. I always like having legitimate uses for niche units like that. Oh, another Cabal mining base. We somehow revealed the entire thing. 
I don't know why the entire thing has become visible to us. Oh, is that another limpet drone? Maybe. Maybe it was another limpet drone. If so, then they were extremely valuable. Okay, let's not chase him back into the base and get zapped by all those defenses. Sounds like something just got destroyed by the floater, I think. That floater's going nuts. Okay, that doesn't look like anything that we can't easily overwhelm with the massive army we're producing. Look at all this. Uh, I'll leave behind some of these guys as a defense, but let's take our growing army and explore some more. Uh, I'll tell you what, you guys wipe out this vein hole. I kind of want to go this way. Alright, go ahead and move to where you can shoot at it, guys. How about you guys? Can you hit it, or is it out of range? Seems like maybe it's just out of range, so go ahead and undeploy. Alright, meanwhile... Boy, that thing takes a lot of artillery. See how much more resistant they are to explosives than to machine gun fire. It's quite interesting. <laughs> Look at that thing, it was driving up on its front wheels. Is that an enemy? That is an enemy. Okay, it got a range of the deployed tick tank, so it's dead. Excellent. Get on repair duty, buddy. Another wimpy little retaliatory force. Easily disposed of. Look at all the terrain deformation from all the artillery fire. It's crazy. Alright, uh, I would like you guys to destroy this vein hole as well, if you please. Now hopefully these guys can kind of thread the needle to the southwest between these Tiberium veins. Another flame tank, easily destroyed. Look at all the abuse that takes. Really. One guy. Also, for some reason, there's another uh, There's another money crate there. I don't know if I just missed it before, but let's... Uh, I don't know where he came from. He's an infantry. Cabal doesn't normally use infantry, so this is very strange. But uh, let's send one flame tank to deal with that guy. We are certainly not going to tolerate this. Uh-oh. Who, who did I have selected? Oh, no. I didn't mean to send the artillery to do that. I meant to send my flame tank. Dang it. The flame tank was on a different control group. All right, let's make him special. Let's put him on control group zero. You know, if I can build subterranean APCs, ooh, I really have a use for those engineers, don't I? Yoink. Let's see if we can do something clever with them. Uh, let's, let's not get them all crushed by that harvester as soon as I think of this plan. Seems like he's gunning for them. Okay, he's dead. All right, load up. L load up. Would you stop so that they can load up? Good lord. Okay, he killed that annoying soldier. Don't know where he came from. That's got to be a bug. Cabal's not ever supposed to have infantry. All right, those guys threaded the needle. Let's see if we can find anything interesting here in the southwest, which is basically the only part of the map we haven't explored. All right, now the flame tank got another money crate. Still hear that Tiberium floater going nuts somewhere on the map. Whoa, guys, hold up. Stop. That's so many veins. Okay, where's the vein hole for this? Oh, destructible cliff. What's down here? Let's, uh, by the way, let's make more tick tanks. What are you guys shooting at? The Tiberium fiend? Sounded like it. Okay, um, and a floater. Maybe that's the floater that's been making all this noise. Okay, yeah, there's there's more than the two tick tanks I sent in there can handle. Oh god, don't go over the veins. Get that floater. 
Run. Okay, finally. You, you're gonna die, you idiot. Why are you pathing like that? Another floater. Where are the vein holes here? Man, look at all this Tiberium. No wonder Cabal set up a major harvesting operation here. Okay, I think it's time to try some fancy shenanigans. It's going to be good fun. Uh, maybe here. Was that the sign of a building getting damaged? Is that where the... Uh... Ava, be quiet. Is that where the floater is that I keep hearing? Oh, are they going to surface the range of the artillery, though? Maybe farther to the east. Might be just out of range. Yes, there is a floater destroying his base. That's what we keep hearing, I think. Steal his money. I love it. Nice. Good job. Oh, maybe I can steal this with the... Did it squish my guy as he was trying to capture that? I would love to steal his refinery while his harvester is in it. I'll probably miss the opportunity because I've got to divide my attention, but... It's a good idea to keep in mind. Might be easier to just grab that silo there. I love that the artillery are no longer pinpoint accurate. This would have never worked in the original Tiberian Sun. The engineers all would have just gotten killed by the by the artillery. It would have been obnoxious. Where on earth is the vein hole for this? Aha! Uh, let's let's grab our flame tank. Do I think I put on control group zero? Yeah. Let's grab that uh, that money crate there. Still no sign of the vein hole. Hmm, can you guys even get up there? No. Maybe inaccessible. I think we're close to being ready to just launch a giant attack. In fact, I think we have way, way more than we even need. Not really a particularly difficult mission if you know the right way to go about it. Are there more crates down here? Yep. Excellent. Unit lost. Are you guys crossing weeds? Why did I lose a unit? Look at the amount of terrain deformation that's been happening. That's insane. Wow. <laughs> I think we're down to the bedrock. I think it can't actually go any lower than that. Because of the limitations of the game engine. Alright, I think it's time to attack. Look at the size of this army. This is ridiculous. Maybe we should attack to the southeast first. That's Oh, I should build a mobile sensor array. Cabal loves his stealth. The northwest base is stealth, but this one has he has a missile silo. I don't know if he's had that the whole time or what, but uh that needs to go. Just in case he actually decides to use it at some point. You accompany somebody, I don't even really care who. Let's is he low power? I thought I just saw Yeah, he's low power, look. That's incredible. I don't know why he's low power, but I'll take it. In that case, we can drive up into his base almost unopposed. Or at least we won't have to deal with the obelisks. Let's go. I wonder if the floater destroyed power plants that he needed or something. 
Alright, he is rebuilding stuff, I think, so we're gonna wanna find his construction yard. Destroy all of Vault's harvesters, refineries, and silos. Don't destroy the obelisk guys. Those those are helping to keep him in low power. Okay, the war factory has to go though. He keeps rebuilding this laser. Alright, yeah, find that con here, guys. <laughs> what? I'm wrecking your face, Cabal. <sighs> Trolling and taunting doesn't work when you're getting your butt kicked, dude. Oh god, the floater is killing my guys! You don't have any room to talk about that, Cabal. That thing was destroying your base and you weren't doing anything about it. That's incredibly annoying, though. This, I'm pretty sure this floater has been wrecking Cabal this whole game, and now it's wrecking my artillery. That was so annoying. I actually lost a lot of artillery to that thing, didn't I? Uh, let's replace them, then. And find his construction yard. Destroy all of Cabal's harvesters, refineries, and silos. Alright. I don't know if the waste facilities count as refineries, but just in case they do, I'm going to destroy them. Good grief. So his construction yard doesn't appear to be down here. Also, um, Unit ready. there it is, my, uh, my mobile sensor array. I don't think he has any of this space cloaked. Doesn't seem like it. No, his space is, oh, he would have, except it's low power. I'm an idiot. Yeah, he's got these stealth generators that aren't doing anything. All right, let's just get this refinery and I think we're done. Unit ready. We're done here, then we have to take out the northwestern base. All right, move out, guys. Leave the obelisks alone. All right. Yep. Believe we're done here. Leave the obelisks alone, guys. We don't care about them. An obelisk with no power is not a threat to anybody. Is that low power now too? Wow, I think it is. So I don't even need this guy. Wow, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a mistake in the uh, mission design. I don't think that these bases are supposed to be low power. Uh, certainly making this even easier. Not that it was ever going to be particularly difficult with the size of the army that we have constructed. Yeah, we don't even need this guy. Another floater here. I just want to explore this southern part of the map with my flame tank here. Anything up on this little plateau? Yes, sir. Sir. Oh, he's okay. There's his construction yard. I don't know if these bases share the same power. Just because they're the same color doesn't necessarily mean they do. I don't believe. For example, I know that in Red Alert, there's two blue colors and two red colors that are separate factions. So. It, there can be two separate red bases or two separate blue bases that have two different power sources. I would assume that's also a thing in Tiberian Sun. So just because the southeast base was low on power didn't automatically mean this one would be too. Although, since this construction yard appeared to be rebuilding these structures, I guess they probably do share a power source. I see that he rebuilt... This thing, if that counts as a refinery, we're probably going to have to go destroy it, which will be annoying. 
Now let's make sure he stays low power. Get out of here, Tiberium fiends. Get wrecked. I think it's about time when we can start saving the game. I think we're getting close to a victory. Harvester hunting. All right, Firestorm Nod 8. The penultimate mission of the Firestorm Nod campaign. We're getting very close to the end here. Where is that happening? Over there. My mind was, or my eyes were going up here, not over here. Get wrecked. Alright, looks like this... Oh right, we have to destroy the silos too. Did I not even destroy all the silos down here? I didn't, silly me. I forgot about that part. Okay, this is very, very much just cleanup mode now. They're showing a, a floater. Okay, that's that's potentially a problem. We saw what kind of damage these things can do to unprotected artillery. This Tiberium life is actually really annoying. It's a bigger threat than Kabbalah's in this mission. Get wrecked, floater. You're annoying. Okay, artillery. You go down here and prepare to finish off this base. I think we can kick the game speed up a notch. Alright, that should take care of everything here, I do believe. You know, Eva, I don't think you need to repeat that quite so frequently. I think we understand our objective by this point, even if I did briefly forget about the silos thing. Let's not talk about that. What? Where's that happening? Get out of here. I just put my guys in a guard mode so that whoever was getting attacked would take care of it. Okay, I don't know if that thing counts as a harvester. If so, we're going to have to chase it down. Where, where is this laser? There it is. Ah, uh, get destroyed. Destroy all of Cabal's harvesters, refineries, and silos. All right, just in case this silo here is the last thing we have to destroy. Yep. Well done to us. As I said, a very unusual mission. Nothing else like it anywhere else in the official campaigns. Uh, I think it's pretty cool for that reason. I, I like the setup of just having a war factory. No, no economy, really. Just the money you start with, and if you explore well, you can find a bunch of money crates scattered around. There's that little, uh, kind of little side mission where the village, the civilian town, comes under attack and you have to save it. Even though that's really easy to do because it's not scripted that well and the cyborgs don't really fight back. They are too focused on attacking the civilians. Uh, and it's it's an easy mission overall, but still, it's fun. It's, uh, like I said, it's just, just pretty unique. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for the penultimate Nod mission. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing that I want to mention that I forgot to comment on. Uh, I really like the antagonism between General Cortez and Slavic there during the opening cutscene. I would actually be really interested to see if Cortez and Slavic had equal forces and had a pitched battle, each of them in command, how that would turn out. Uh, at a glance, Cortez kind of gives the impression of mostly just being a politician, like a lot of top brass are. So, and, uh, and Slavic is quite brutal and cunning. So first impression might be that Slavic would win, but I just have this feeling that Cortez might be more fearsome than he first appears. 
We do get brief glimpses into his military mind, like his response to Cabal's betrayal, where he just starts barking orders and seems pretty cool under pressure. And Slavic might be overconfident. So I'm not sure it would actually be a guaranteed victory for Slavic. Like I said, that would actually be a pretty interesting matchup to see. But anyway, yeah, Cabal's rampage has forced Nod and GDI into an uncomfortable alliance that neither of them wants. But they're really not going to have any choice except to unite, combine their forces in order to deal with this threat. And so that's what that mission was about. And the next three missions, uh, two more GDI missions and one more Nod mission, are also going to be about this reluctant alliance to try to take down Cabal. Anyways, next we're going to do the penultimate GDI mission. Hopefully you'll join me for that and I will see you then.